Hi there guys, I'm going to be playing for you a bit more uh, of the Mass Effect series. Uh, here's Mass Effect 2. As promised, I, I started last year by saying I was going to play through the entire trilogy. Now that I'll like, I've done all their DLCs and changes and patches and whatever else there is to this game. Um, and I mod it lightly. Uh, usually nothing too gameplay changing. Uh, but what I did do for this game was... Uh, so first off, there's uh, I use the A-Lot uh, uh, texture mods. So, uh, by the way, all this will be in the description. Um, so it's just some texture mods, some sweet FX stuff, just for graphical fidelity and whatever. Uh, you're going to notice a couple times that the game won't actually do anything because I noticed that this game has actually a lot of in-game cutscenes and it's like 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 actual video cutscenes and it's abundantly apparent when they come up and it's because this is a console port uh what through and through just it's a console port it's the controls are not fantastic um it's been kind of dumbed down in a lot of ways and it was one of the gripes i had with mass effect 2 originally when i played it actually a couple years ago i didn't like it uh coming out of it because uh, it, it was very console porty and, it, and it's very very evident a lot of the stuff about this game is limited around the Xbox 360. It doesn't mean maybe it's necessarily a bad game. We're going to determine that as we play. But keeping that in mind, it is a it is a pretty poor port. Um, one of the things, though, is that all the loading screens... Something that's interesting. All the loading screens have like this animated video. And what it does is it doesn't actually go uh, finish the load transition until the video is done. And the videos are like 15 to 20 seconds normally. I have modded it, uh, I've used someone's mod which lowers it to about 2 seconds to looping videos. So then the loading screens are much faster and things like that. Um, the other thing I've changed here is, uh, let me think, I, I did I did remove the mini games and I also removed the plant scanning. The plant scanning now completes in one click and the mini games just complete instantly. I, I had tried the game a bit, this is why it says resume, I just tried it out a bit on my own, I got past the intro. You're not missing much with the mini games. You can go watch someone else's playthrough. You can see what the mini games are. They're not like, I mean, it, it, Bioshock had like the pipe mini game and some other stuff like that. Those weren't so bad. These ones are a very bad. Like the mini games are uh, so boring. So we're cu well, I cut them all out. It's all a part of this one mod. And they're they're gone. There's there's no mini games for this. So if if you were really into that um you can go watch another series i, I recommend things like candy crush and bejeweled uh, very good uh <laughs> very good games for that kind of thing no the, the mini games suck ass in this so i'm kind of glad i removed it um and there was actually not much i could do in terms of improving the controls i'll get more into that a bit later i think there was one other thing i did but it was like as i said it's all minor cosmetic uh, the one thing I was going to do was it was suggested to me to use a mod to remove global cooldowns, which is something they introduced in Mass Effect 2, which uh, it's pretty much... I, I don't think anybody really liked it. Um, and someone did a mod to re remove the global cooldowns. Unfortunately, uh, that conflicts with the mod to remove the minigames, so... I decided that I would remove the minigames rather than remove the global cooldowns, so... With that being said, um, let's get going. I can import my Mass Effect 1 character I did from last time. And in case you're just coming into this and you didn't see my Mass Effect 1 run, um, generally speaking, I played like a dick. However, if there was some reason to keep someone alive, um, like they would show up in later games, I attempted my best to keep them alive. Um, so I'm not sure what the bonuses are for importing a character here, but it will import all my choices. Um, and, I and I think I punched the reporter, I don't remember. I, I mean, I, I could not do that, let's be honest. Alright, so let's import. Alright, so we got... Combat difficulty to insanity, by the way, it's just really easy. Uh, we'll level up on our own. I, I prefer my squad uses their own powers and subtitles and all that, so that's good. Service history, so we are allowed to change anything we want. Wow. Uh, okay. So, um, oh, so people have been telling me, yeah, um, Rex survived, uh, Caden died, good stuff. That's what we like. And I, I saved the council. That's some of the, the interesting stuff. Um, so the interesting thing about, uh, the class, I, I guess you can't change it. Um, but anyways, about that, um, some people were telling me, uh, that they want to see, like, 
engineer they wanted to see what was another one someone's like do adept do this do that and i'm like nah i'm staying with the infiltrator probably throughout the series just because it's it's snipers that's what really the class is about it's just sniping shit like i, I dude i can't <laughs> i can't bring myself to play like one of the other classes fine the ability might be neato but yeah the, the infiltrator's ability kind of sucks but the, the 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 upside is you get snipers so whatever fuck you guys Apparently you can't change your class, huh? I thought maybe you would be able to, but nope, you stay as the same class. Shepard did everything right. More than we could have hoped for. Saving the Citadel, even saving the Council. Humanity has the trust of the entire galaxy. And still, it's not enough. Our sacrifices have earned the Council's gratitude, but Shepard remains our best hope. But they're sending him to fight Geth. Geth. We both know they're not the real threat. The Reapers are still out there. And it's up to us to stop them. The Council will never trust Cerberus. They'll never accept our help, even after everything humanity has accomplished. But Shepard, they'll follow him. He's a hero, a bloody icon. But he's just one man. If we lose Shepard, humanity might well follow. Then see to it that we don't lose him. Engaging FTL drives. Emission sinks active. Board is green. We are running silent. We're wasting our time. Four days searching up and down this sector, and we haven't found any sign of Geth activity. Three ships went missing here in the past month. Something happened to them. My money's on slavers. The terminus system is crawling with them. Picking up something on the long range scanner. Unidentified vessel. Hmm. Looks like a cruiser. Doesn't match any known signatures. Cruiser is changing course. Now on intercept trajectory. Can't be. Stealth systems are engaged. There's no way a Geth ship could possibly. It's not the Geth. Brace for evasive maneuvers!
Oh, and could, could you tell the transitions to the, uh... Mayday! 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 This is SMP Normandy! The transitions between the, uh, the... What's it called? The cutscenes in the game are just fucking janky as shit. It only took a couple years. And it's just horrible now. <laughs> it looks really bad. Uh, did not age well in that, in that fact. This shit's still cool. I should mention that the the vanilla game actually looks pretty pr looks pretty good too. Still, uh, in this day and age, it's not just because I'm playing it uh, with some graphical mods. I'm sure that helps a lot too. But yeah, not the best uh, choice during development. It really shows. But yeah, it's it's all good. If I can enjoy this intro. Come on, Joker. We have to get out of here. No, I won't abandon the Normandy. I can still save her. Why is it shaking so much? The Normandy's dead. Just like us, we don't get the hell out of here. No, we just have to... Oh, no. They're coming around for another attack. Commander Shepard has been recovered. The Lazarus Project will proceed as planned. Oh, I guess I get to I do get to choose my shit. Uh didn't even occur to me. By the way, this shit's so blurry with these cutscenes, it's just like fucking hurting my eyes sometimes. Alright, that's a good face. Oh, uh, you are allowed to to change this. Well I, I guess I'll just be infiltrator again. So okay, what were the ones that just I think someone wanted me to be Vanguard, but fuck that. Uh someone wanted me engineer, fuck that too, because that's like drones. I don't think I played this game in, in anything other than that. Soldier has too many weapons, and I know it's a really weird problem uh, to state, but trust me, it is actually a problem. Up in training. Yeah, we all get heavy weapons, I think. So yeah, these are these are incredibly boring, so we're doing Infiltrator. 
And it remain it, it stays with my my ruthless earthborn past, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. Just lie still. Try to stay calm. Heart rate's still climbing. Brain activity is off the charts. <sighs> Scout's pushing into the red zone. It's not working. Another dog. Now. <sighs> Heart rate dropping. Scout's falling back into normal range. That was too close. We almost lost him. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. pistol doesn't have a thermal clip. It's a keep your head down, Shepard. Shield yourself from the glass. Someone's hacking security trying to kill you. Look for a thermal clip for your pistol. He seems to already know what these are. There we go. Their ammunition like system. They set up a barricade to try holding the mechs off. Look out! <laughs> keep moving. We need to get to the shuttles. Is there any of the goodies? No. Oh, welcome to the game, I guess. Shepard, security mechs are closing in on your position. Don't take any chances. Stay in cover while you take out those mechs. Engaging So they use the now like kind of gears of war system of like duck and cover kind of shooter. <laughs> Fuck, I don't want to wait for my shields to regenerate. Fuck. There's like ten of them now. Alright, well we'll just do the little dance here. So they added the ammunition system to this game. Nice work, Shepard. Because apparently, uh, you know, I don't know, they did some bullshit logic where it's like more fucking rounds down range means you win because of kinetic barrier age and things like that. I don't know. They just didn't want me to use my sniper rifle all the time, let's be honest. I, I got directly nerfed. You know, that person just waited there to die. Like, they didn't do anything. More reinforcements heading your way. Here come the mechs. You yeah, I have to Here's use this. I keep doing it so fast that she's, uh... Take the elevator down one floor. So, uh, here's my first complaint about the weapon switch switching system. Here are my choices. Mouse wheel? Which, if you have like four weapons, uh, that doesn't really help at all, or extra good to last weapon. I looked up mods and shit to fix that, there is no such thing. It's because of the janky way they have the weapon system in this game. Highly unfortunate for you. Alright, so, ready for the minigame, guys? Alright, so we have to highlight individual nodes to find matching symbols. Once you've found two matching nodes, to, uh, select them to complete the circuit. You have to complete all circuits before you run out of time. Alright. Alright, we did it. <laughs> That's all we've done to the game. Alright, I got one more. Progress is slow, but subject shows signs of recovery. Make 
major organs are again functional and there are signs of rudimentary neurological activity. In an effort to accelerate the process, we've moved from simple organic reconstruction of the subject to biosynthetic fusion. Initial results show promise. Oh, by the way, since I imported my character, uh, apparently level 50 is when you get actually like decent stuff, or well, it like doubles the rewards, so I don't get that many rewards actually because it's a level 49 character. Not like I care because I kind of want to start from scratch, sort of ish. I just want to import my choices more or less. You, you could try and run, or you can hold your gut for a second. Um, that works too. Hey Jacob, you want to take cover? You know, like like me. Oh, sorry, we don't know this guy. Mysterious African man. What are you doing here? Thought you were still a work in progress. I just woke up. You probably know more than I do. Right. Sorry about that. I'm Jacob Taylor. I've been stationed here for hostiles detected. Damn it! Things must be worse than I thought if Miranda's got you running around. I'll fill you in, but we better get you to the shuttle first. Ever since I woke up, someone's been telling me where to go and what to do. I need answers. Fair enough. I'll give you the quick version. You and your ship were attacked and destroyed. You were killed, dead as dead can be when they brought you here. Our scientists spent the last two years putting you back together. You've been comatose, or worse, that whole time. Welcome back to your life. This doesn't look like an Alliance facility. It isn't. I can't say much more than that for now. The Alliance officially declared you killed in action. The whole galaxy thinks you're dead. And if we don't get to those shuttles, they'll be right. Were there any other survivors from the Normandy? I'll tell you what. You help me finish off these mechs, and I'll play 20 questions with you all day. We're low on thermal clips, but I'm a biotic. Just give the order when you want me to hit him with the good stuff. I didn't give you orders for that. So it's trying to tell me, oh hey, you can do this. You want to hit him with that again? Okay. I promised I'd answer your questions. What do you want to know? You said they spent two years rebuilding me? How bad were my injuries? I'm no doctor, but it was bad. When I first saw you, you were nothing but meat and tubes. Anywhere else, they'd have put you in a coffin. But Project Lazarus was different. Cutting-edge technology. What can you tell me about the project? Were there other test subjects? Project Lazarus only had one subject. The whole point was to bring you back. Just you. Even that was a challenge. Two years. All the top scientists. The best technology money could buy. What do you mean? Cloning? Cybernetics? I don't know the details. You'd have to ask the scientists. But I'm pretty sure you're not a clone. They wanted to bring you back exactly as you were. You're still you. You just might have a few extra bits and pieces now. Is this just me or does he not open his mouth to talk all the way? Eh. Do you know anything about this attack? Who's behind it? What they're after? Damn if I know. I was getting ready for some shut-eye, then BAM! Bunch of explosions. Next thing I know, every damn mech in the place starts shooting. At us. I'm guessing it had to be an inside job. You'd need top security access to hack all the mechs. The last thing I remember is the Normandy blowing up. Did anyone else make it? Just about everybody survived. A few servicemen from the lower decks didn't get out. Navigator Presley was killed by an explosion. But everyone else, including the non-alliance crew, the Asari, Liara, and the Quarian, they all made it out alive. No, not Presley. Oh, what's the point of living now? You know what any of them are doing now? I don't know, Commander. It's been two years. They've moved on. Left the Alliance. Could be anywhere. They were my team. If they knew I was alive, they'd come back. Maybe you can track them down after we get off the station. If we get off the station. When I first woke up, someone named Miranda was talking to me over the radio. We lost contact just before I ran into you. Miranda Lawson is the station's ranking officer. 
She led the Lazarus team. It was her job to bring you back to life, no matter what. Should have guessed she'd try to save you. She's not about to give up on you now. You said you lost contact. Could you tell what was happening? There was some gunfire and an explosion right before I lost her. She knows how to take care of herself. But I hope she's okay. What's your job here? Depends on who you ask. Technically, I'm Miranda's top lieutenant. But I'm just a soldier. I served five years in the Alliance before this. Now I'm in charge of the station's security. Usually a lot more dull than this. Normally I don't fire my gun unless it's target practice. What's the quickest way to those shuttles? Depends where the mechs are thickest. It's probably best check, if you... Check, check. Anyone on this frequency? Anybody still alive out there? Hello? Wilson, this is Jacob. I'm here with Commander Shepard. Just took out a wave of mechs over in D-Wing. Shepard's alive? How the hell... Never mind. You need to get him out of there. Get to the service tunnels and head for the network control room. Roger that, Wilson. Stay on this frequency. I think I remember a Wilson checking on me one time when I woke up. That's him. He's the chief medical tech. Answers directly to Miranda. Come on. The service tunnels are this way. All right, well, I'm going to leave it off here, guys, for a change. Um, the Lazarus Project is about to enter the final phase. It's taken nearly two years, but we did it. Commander Shepard is alive. This is the most amazing medical achievement in recorded history. Maybe now Miranda will finally show some appreciation for everything I've done. Yeah, so anyways, uh, we're going to leave it off here just because I want to get back into a habit of making uh, smaller episodes. You know, at most 30 minutes, at least 20 kind of a deal. So uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, we'll resume this next time. Goodbye.